Good evening. A fond farewell for a, a woman who touched many lives. Good evening. I'm Pamela Young. Hundreds turned out to pay their last respects to State Health Director Loretta Fuddy. KITV4's Nana Okawa has our top story from the Co Cathedral of St. Teresa. Hundreds showed up to say their personal goodbyes to Loretta Fuddy. The sermons echoed her praise as a humble, smart, and soulful person. Fuddy, a longtime choir member at St. Teresa's, devoted much of her time here, her faith rooted in the Catholic Church. She was a deeply spiritual person, but she was totally committed to the values of her faith. That was one of the things that he struck me when we first met. I reappointed her to the pastoral council, the finance council, and the school board. <laughs> Sometimes she was here at the church more than I was here. <laughs> State Health Director Fuddy was returning from Kalau Papa on December 11th when the plane she and eight others were on crashed. Fuddy died after she and the others made it out of the plane. This is a celebration. It's obviously been a shock for everyone. Trying, you know, you never know what's going to happen, and, and uh, so it's it's an emotional time for everyone. But uh, this, I think, uh, set us on the on the right path forward. We heard so many wonderful things all week long about her accomplishments with the health department, and I just thought, oh, they don't know the true Deliana. But then I. Uh, when it realized when I saw everyone here that everybody knew the person that I knew, that wonderful, warm, joyful, giving person. She was loved by many, but her family members gave the final aloha. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News. Governor Abercrombie ordered all U.S. and Hawaii flags to be flown at half staff today in honor of Director Fuddy. She was 65.